In everyday life, have you ever felt that you are doing things you don't want to, but you can't figure out why? Have you ever wondered if you are being manipulated into undesirable situations by external influences? This is a common issue that many of us face. We often find ourselves caught in decisions and actions that are not our own will, but are influenced by others. Imagine a workday where you constantly have to change plans due to sudden demands from colleagues or superiors or in personal relationships. You feel compelled to do uncomfortable things just to keep the peace. These situations not only reduce work efficiency, but also cause mental stress, stripping away your freedom and autonomy. Stoic philosophy with its profound wisdom, offers us tools to recognize and confront these manipulative behaviors. By applying stoic principles, we can find inner peace and regain control over our lives. Knowledge is the key that opens the door to freedom. This proverb reminds us that understanding ourselves and the influences around us is the first step to liberating ourselves from manipulation. In today's meaningful journey with Stoicism, we will explore 10 signs that you are being manipulated without realizing it. Each sign will help you better understand yourself and provide the necessary tools to live a more fulfilling life according to your own will. Join us to the end of this journey and don't miss any messages that Stoicism conveys through each lesson. Every milestone, every lesson contains precious messages that help you live a more complete life. Are you ready to identify and overcome the signs of manipulation in your life? Let's explore together and find the freedom and serenity within your soul. Sign number one, others always make you feel like you have to know everything. The feeling of having to know everything can stem from the pressure of others. Sometimes you feel that you must understand everything to be acknowledged, not to be underestimated or judged. This not only causes stress, but can also negatively affect your confidence and spirit. Imagine a situation where an employee is always required by their boss to know everything, from daily tasks to major projects and even irrelevant side information. Whenever an issue arises, the boss directs the attention and responsibility to this employee, expecting an immediate answer. This creates immense pressure keeping the employee in a constant state of anxiety and stress. Have you ever felt that you need to know everything to be recognized? In Stoic philosophy, Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Intellectual independence is one of the core principles of Stoic philosophy. It encourages us to accept that some things are beyond our control and that trying to know everything is just an illusion. Stoic philosophy also emphasizes humility and accepting our own limitations. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most famous Stoic philosophers, once said, ask yourself every morning what is within my power today? This is a way for us to clearly recognize what we can and cannot control. Accepting that we cannot know everything not only frees us from pressure, but also helps us focus on what is truly important and meaningful. The constant need to know everything can lead to severe psychological consequences. It reduces confidence, creates prolonged stress, and leads to feelings of helplessness. To cope with this pressure, 
you first need to set personal boundaries. Be bold in saying no when necessary, and do not be afraid to admit that you do not know. This not only helps protect your mental health, but also asserts your independence and confidence. Developing self-confidence is also an important solution. Focus on improving your abilities, learning from mistakes, and continually improving yourself. Remember, true understanding begins with humility. Only when you accept that you cannot know everything can you truly open your mind to learn and develop sustainably. True understanding begins with humility. Let this maxim guide you in your journey of discovery and learning. Recognizing your own limitations is not a weakness, but the first step towards attaining true wisdom and freedom. Sign number two, using relationships as bait. Relationships, when used as bait, can lead to a deep loss of trust and emotional damage. When you exploit your relationships for personal gain, you not only hurt others, but also lose the true value of the relationship. Imagine a scenario. An employee uses a close relationship with his boss to get ahead at work. He frequently invites the boss to dinner, gives gifts, and leverages personal connections to achieve his goals. However, when other colleagues realize this, they start to lose trust and feel betrayed. The working relationship becomes tense and insincere. Have you ever exploited your relationships to gain benefits? Stoic philosophy encourages sincerity and integrity in all relationships. Epictetus once said, Happiness does not come from what you have, but from what you are. Sincerity and integrity in relationships are the foundation of happiness and freedom. When you use relationships as bait, you lose sincerity and turn relationships into tools for personal gain. Marcus Aurelius, in his work, Meditations, emphasized the importance of sincerity and kindness in all relationships. He believed that relationships built on sincerity and mutual respect can be sustainable and truly bring happiness. Exploiting relationships not only harms others, but also causes harm to yourself, leading to a loss of trust and genuine affection. The consequences of using relationships as bait are severe. It leads to a loss of trust, causing isolation and creating an unhealthy work or living environment. To avoid this, first, Recognize the exploitative behavior and stop immediately. Learn to say no and protect your relationships with sincerity and respect. Let relationships be built on sincerity, not as tools. Sincerity helps you build strong relationships and brings true peace and happiness. Recognizing the value of relationships and acting sincerely will help you live a meaningful and free life. Sign number three. You show affection to someone and then withdraw if they do something wrong. Let's begin with a real life story. Imagine our friend, Anna, Anna loves her boyfriend very much, but whenever he does something wrong, no matter how small, she withdraws her affection, keeps her distance, and sometimes even stops communicating. Anna thinks that by doing this, she can teach him to appreciate and correct his mistakes. However, this behavior leads to unexpected negative consequences. Have you ever felt controlled by affection? 
When someone shows affection and then withdraws it when the other person makes a mistake, it not only creates immense pressure, but also diminishes the sincerity in the relationship. Affection becomes a tool for control and manipulation instead of a manifestation of love and understanding. Marcus Aurelius, one of the renowned philosophers of the Stoic school, once said, true affection is an expression of kindness and understanding. Affection should not be used as a means to control another person's behavior. When you use affection to control, you not only hurt the other person, but also lose the sincerity and trust in the relationship. The consequences of using affection to control are severe. It not only causes anxiety and insecurity for the other person, but also erodes mutual respect and trust. Genuine affection is replaced by doubt and fear. The other person may feel pressured and constantly worried about doing something wrong and having affection withdrawn. The solution from Stoic philosophy is to recognize this controlling behavior and set clear boundaries. Learn to communicate sincerely and directly without using affection as a tool for control. Developing communication skills and confidence in the relationship is crucial. Remember that true affection stems from kindness and understanding, not from control and pressure. Have you ever experienced this situation? Please share your experiences in the comments. Sharing and discussing will help us better understand the value of genuine affection and how to build a healthy relationship. Realizing this will not only improve your current relationships, but also help you live a meaningful and free life. Sign number four, others. Forcefully make you achieve what they want. What is coercion? It is the act of making you do something against your will. Coercion not only takes away your freedom, but also causes deep psychological and physical harm. John is a dedicated employee who always tries his best. However, his boss constantly imposes demands that exceed his capabilities and expectations. Whenever John refuses, his boss threatens his job and stability. John feels forced to do things he doesn't want to and cannot complete in the best way. Have you ever felt compelled to do something against your will? In life, there are many examples of coercion. Think about the story of a scientist forced to alter research results to fit the sponsor's interests. This coercion not only devalues the true essence of science, but also damages the scientist's reputation and self-esteem. The consequences of being coerced are severe. It affects your psychological and physical health, making you constantly feel stressed, anxious, and insecure. You lose control and the ability to make decisions about your own life. Coercion renders you powerless and makes you lose confidence in your abilities. Stoic philosophy offers useful solutions to deal with this pressure. First, you need to recognize the pressure and demand respect from others. Remember, the right to make your own decisions is a fundamental right of every individual. Learning to say no and setting boundaries is crucial in protecting yourself from coercion. Developing self-confidence and independence is essential. Always remember 
that you have the right to control your own life, and no one can force you to do something against your will. Stoic philosophy encourages us to focus on what we can control and accept what lies beyond our capabilities. The right to make decisions is a fundamental right of every individual. Let this maxim guide you in your journey to find freedom and happiness. Recognizing your right to make your own decisions will help you live a meaningful and free life, unbound by the pressure and coercion from others. Sign number five. You never speak directly about what you want. Do you often face situations where you cannot directly express what you want? Many people struggle with articulating their desires clearly and directly. Imagine a story about Lan, someone who always keeps her wishes to herself and never dares to speak them out. At work, when her colleagues ask for her opinion on a project, Lan always evades and answers vaguely leading to misunderstandings and negatively affecting her work. Have you ever experienced this feeling? In life, there are many examples of people not daring to speak directly. Take, for instance, a politician who always circumvents and avoids giving clear decisions to avoid offending anyone. As a result, his policies lack clarity and fail to gain public approval, leading to difficulties in his political career. The consequences of not speaking directly are severe. It negatively impacts communication and relationships. When you cannot clearly express what you want, others will not understand you and might make decisions that do not align with your intentions this leads to a loss of confidence and dependence on others to speak for you. So, how can we address this situation? First, you need to recognize and acknowledge the fear of speaking directly. Ask yourself, what is preventing me from speaking directly? Acknowledging this fear is the first step to overcoming it. Learning to express your desires clearly is crucial. Emperor Marcus Aurelius taught, ask yourself every morning, what is the most important thing for me to achieve today? This helps you focus on what truly matters and articulate it clearly. Speak clearly about what you want. It is the best way to be understood. Recognizing the importance of speaking directly will help you improve communication and build genuine and sustainable relationships. Be confident and bold in expressing your desires to live a meaningful and free life. We are halfway through our journey to surpass others. Your presence here shows that you are fully committed to the process of self-improvement. However, our journey does not end here. I have another challenge for you. Like and share this video and comment, I want to continue so we can proceed with our journey today. Sign number six, jealousy takes over. We often believe that jealousy is a wonderful spice of life a sign of a healthy relationship. After all, jealousy arises from love and care. This viewpoint is correct. However, when you turn it into a tool to control your partner, jealousy ceases to be a wonderful spice. It becomes a poison that destroys your relationship. Jealousy blurs the line between love and control, leading to negative and unhealthy behaviors in the relationship. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, once said, 
Jealousy is a form of insecurity and lack of confidence. When you use jealousy to control others, you not only hurt them, but also lose the sincerity and trust in the relationship. Consider a real-life scenario where jealousy plays a destructive role. Imagine Anna, a woman deeply in love with her boyfriend, but she constantly feels insecure and jealous whenever he interacts with other women. She uses this jealousy to control him, asking him not to meet female friends and frequently checking his phone and social media. This behavior not only strains their relationship, but also creates a toxic environment where trust is eroded. Have you ever experienced such a situation? Jealousy, when used as a control mechanism, leads to numerous negative consequences. It impacts emotional and psychological well-being, see, causing the affected person to feel pressured and distrustful. Genuine affection is replaced by suspicion and fear, resulting in an unhealthy and unsustainable relationship. Do not let jealousy draw you away from a good relationship. The solutions from Stoic philosophy offer valuable insights. Firstly, recognize and admit the controlling behavior rooted in jealousy and understand that it does not benefit the relationship. Learn to set clear boundaries and demand respect from your partner. Marcus Aurelius taught, respect and understanding are the foundations of all enduring relationships. Develop communication skills and confidence in the relationship rather than using jealousy as a tool for control. We would love to hear your thoughts on this topic have you ever gone through such a situation? Share your insights in the comments section below. Sign number seven, you often feel guilty or blamed. Do you often feel guilty without knowing why? This feeling can arise in various situations from work to personal life. Constantly being blamed and having to apologize not only harms your spirit, but also negatively impacts your psychology and self-confidence. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This statement emphasizes the importance of controlling your emotions and reactions. When you frequently feel guilty, ask yourself, is this within my control? If not, learn to let go and focus on what you can change. The consequences of always feeling guilty are severe. It creates a vicious cycle of anxiety and insecurity, causing you to gradually lose self-confidence and become dependent on others. This not only affects your mental health, but also weakens your relationships. So, how can you escape this cycle? Stoic philosophy offers a solution by encouraging us to recognize and acknowledge the feeling of guilt. Establish clear personal boundaries and demand respect from others. Marcus Aurelius once said, we cannot control what others say or do, but we can control our own reactions. You don't need to feel guilty for things beyond your control. Let this message guide you, helping you become more aware of your self-worth and live a meaningful and free life. By controlling your reactions and setting personal boundaries, you will find inner peace and improve the quality of your life. Sign number eight. Others frequently change plans at the last minute. We usually plan ahead before taking action to ensure everything goes smoothly. 
and according to plan. But then others change the plan at the last minute. This change not only causes confusion, but also affects our psychology and work efficiency. Do you often feel powerless and frustrated when your plans are disrupted by others? When faced with this situation, we can easily feel controlled and disrespected. Imagine a common scenario. You have carefully arranged your time and work, but at the last minute, someone changes the plan without notice. This not only disrupts your work rhythm, but also makes you lose stability and confidence. In everyday life, a manager often has to deal with continuous plan changes from superiors. Each time the plan changes, he must quickly adapt and adjust. The result is instability and reduced work efficiency, along with increasing stress and pressure. The consequences of this are not only inconvenient, but also deeply affect the psyche. A person who constantly has to adapt to unpredictable changes will gradually lose confidence in their ability to manage time and work. They easily become dependent on others, losing their autonomy and motivation. Stoic philosophy teaches us to recognize and face these challenges calmly and rationally. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Marcus Aurelius said this, meaning that to cope with last-minute plan changes, you need to set boundaries and demand respect from others. Be clear about your capabilities and limits. Do not hesitate to say no when a change does not fit your schedule. This will not only help you maintain stability in your work, but also protect your mental health. Stability and foresight are key to achieving success. Let this maxim guide you in building a balanced working and living environment. By controlling your reactions and setting clear boundaries, you will find peace and efficiency in every aspect of life. Sign number nine. They use silence or avoidance as punishment. When someone uses silence or avoidance to punish their partner, they are actually employing a form of control. Philosopher Marcus Aurelius said, Silence can be a powerful form of control, but it is also a manifestation of an inability to communicate. When you use silence to control, you not only harm the other person, but also destroy trust and sincerity in the relationship. This behavior can cause profound damage. It deeply affects the emotions and psychology of the person being punished. Prolonged silence leads to a loss of trust, feelings of isolation and insecurity. The person being punished feels powerless, not knowing what they did wrong and having no opportunity to make amends. Instead of continuing this cycle of behavior, Stoic philosophy advises us to recognize the issue and change our approach. First, you need to understand that using silence as a punishment does not solve the problem. It only increases distance and hurt. Learn to communicate sincerely and directly. Establishing personal boundaries and demanding respect from others is crucial. This not only helps protect your mental health, but also keeps the relationship healthy and sustainable. Finally, Avoid those who use silence or avoidance as a form of punishment. Such relationships often do not bring peace and happiness. Recognizing and steering clear of these controlling behaviors will help you avoid getting drawn into toxic relationships 
and live a free and meaningful life. Sign number 10. They frequently use vague or contradictory statements. What are vague and contradictory statements? These are statements that are unclear, making it difficult for the listener to understand and often leading to misunderstandings. When someone uses vague or contradictory language, they may intentionally or unintentionally create confusion, thereby manipulating and controlling others. Imagine a specific situation. You have a friend who frequently uses unclear language to express their opinions. Whenever you ask about a specific plan, they always respond with vague phrases like maybe, possibly, or even contradictory statements. This leaves you feeling confused and unsure of what to do. Have you ever felt bewildered by such vague language? In life, a politician often faces vague statements from colleagues and opponents. These statements not only erode trust, but also force the listener to depend on the speaker for clear explanations. And this creates an unhealthy environment where clarity and honesty are lacking. Vague and contradictory statements can severely impact trust and communication. When you face such language, you easily lose confidence and don't know how to handle the situation. This leads to dependence on others for clarification, thereby reducing your ability to communicate and your confidence. Stoic philosophy advises us to recognize and confront this manipulative behavior. First and foremost, demand clarity and honesty from others. Don't hesitate to ask questions and request that the speaker clearly explain their opinions. Develop your communication skills and confidence in asking for clarity. Clarity and honesty are the foundations of all sustainable relationships. Let this maxim guide you in building a healthy and trustworthy communication environment. By recognizing and confronting vague statements, you will find confidence and the ability to communicate more effectively in all aspects of life. Throughout our journey of exploring the 10 signs you are being manipulated without realizing it, we have gained a clearer understanding of the subtle and powerful external influences that can impact our lives. From ambiguous words and the use of silence as punishment to last minute changes in plans, all these can diminish your autonomy and freedom. Always remember that knowledge is the key to unlocking freedom. Recognize and stay away from those who exhibit manipulative behaviors to protect your mind and relationships from negative influences. Live a life that is complete, free and serene. If you feel these lessons bring value to you, don't hesitate to show us your support. Let us know which Stoic principles you like the most in the comments section below. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our other journeys. Goodbye and see you again.